Over the last 21 years, the Kingdom Hearts franchise has grown from a small idea pitched in an elevator to one loved by millions all around the globe in multiple languages. However, there exist some parts of that 21 years that come unknown to many people too. Over the last couple years, my perspective of collecting for this franchise has changed drastically. From buying figurines to guidebooks, to now preserving what feels like history. Welcome everyone to the first episode of a brand new series that I'd like to call Treasured Memories. This will document pieces of, that I've collected over the years, and I'll explain the history of the series behind them. I believe every single item has a past, and I want to bring that past back to the light. Before Kingdom Hearts launched in Japan, Squaresoft and Disney Enterprises Incorporated collaborated with a company known as Mitsui Home and created a small bundle of five items that are quite unknown to the general public. These items both celebrated the launch of Kingdom Hearts and of course promoted it professionally before it hit store shelves on March 28, 2002. This bundle also gave the media a way to create content at that time to promote the game more for the public. The Mitsui Home Exhibition Campaign Media Kit consists of a notebook slash sticker book, a deck of playing cards, a media VTR CD, a hand towel, and a clock. All of these items feature the same artwork of Sora, Donald, Goofy, Riku, and Kairi, as well as its logo. Now, none of these items were for public sale either. 20 years later, these items are still really hard to come by and are rarely seen on Japanese online marketplaces. So as for the items themselves, the VTR plus Illustration Material CD contains the original PlayStation 2 promotional VTR footage and PS2 Image Illustration Collection for Kingdom Hearts during its promotional period for use and as well as for the exhibit material. Back then this sort of information was stored on CDs because technology wasn't as advanced as it is now. The notebook features vibrant and colorful artwork featuring character renders and world art as well as the first two pages being exclusive sticker sheets. The clock was the first ever Kingdom Hearts clock to be produced, and is the only promotional one made. It features the main cast, the logo, the release month, and the year on the front of the box. It's a puzzle that you put together and then display on the wall, and it was part of a series of jigsaw puzzle clocks back in the day. The deck of playing cards were the first ever set produced for the series, and were used for promotional use only. There were two other sets produced. The second one was used for Europe and was part of the press kit, and the last was a pre-order bonus for Kingdom Hearts Final Mix in Japan. These cards are white, and they feature characters and enemies all over them. Lastly, we have the hand towel. It features the promotional art of the main cast of the game, and while the theme of the other items is blue, this towel is different, it's all white instead. It's definitely nice to see the art used in very unusual ways like this. So in a way, these items could be considered a press kit, in a sense, since the bundle was given to media back then. They were all exclusively labeled with not for sale, to ensure them not being sold to the public at the time. Overall, this set is very gorgeous and was very difficult to track down, but at the end of the day, I'm glad I own them all and I could share all of this with you. However, I want to give credit where credit is due. I want to give a shout out to my good friend, SoarCloud3924. He's become one of my good friends as of late and has helped me throughout the past couple years acquire items like these and has taught me a lot about the history of my all-time favorite franchise. So if anyone wants to learn more about promotional items throughout Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy history, I suggest you follow him on Instagram and Twitter. I'll leave his profiles in the description of the video below and they'll be on screen in case you don't want to click there. Well, everyone, that concludes the very first episode of Treasured Memories. What did you think? Oh, and one last thing. Happy 21st birthday, Kingdom Hearts. See you next time.